What's up again guys, yeah it's me your friendly neighborhood Dovahkiin and welcome to the first episode of Let's Play Divinity Original Sin 2. Right now I'm just browsing through the uh, difficulty modes but uh, the one I'm gonna pick is the uh, tactician mode which is equivalent to the hard mode. As per the honor mode is the same as tactician but you only get one save file that gets deleted if your party gets wiped out. And <laughs> that's just insane, right? These are the uh, races and classes available for this game, which is a lot. And I mean a lot. Simply amazing because all of them have a unique armor set appearances. And while we're browsing these, I'm gonna give you a background on this game. By the way, it's not a mobile, it's a full-blooded PC game. And I think it's gonna come out soon on consoles as well. It was uh, released last year, 2017, about the same period as L2R. But uh, I didn't have the uh, time to play multiple games, so I chose uh, L2R for the time being. Anyway, I've played the uh, prequel of this one which came out in 2014 and it was one of the best gaming experiences of my life. What got me was the storytelling, the wit and humor of the dialogues, voice acting and all of that were just brilliant. And for many established critics, the uh, prequel was hands down the best classic style RPG in years perhaps uh, following the uh, legendary Baldur's Gate series way back 98 to 2000. And I played those games, and they were unforgettable. So I'm not that young, you know. And uh, what excites me about the sequel is that critics labeled it even better than its predecessor. So if the first game was an instant classic, for critics, this sequel is one of the GOAT in its genre. The greatest of all time. By the way, both games were on a Kickstarter, and the uh, devs knew what players wanted while the games were still in development. And for players, the games came out like dreams coming to life. And that could be the winning formula. The uh, combat in this game is turn-based, and if you've played the game that I mentioned earlier, Baldur's Gate, you'll absolutely love this. And uh, to briefly describe it, if you know Final Fantasy uh, Tactics, just remove the grid and that's it. But uh, one of the best features of this game is the effect of your spells on the environment. Let's say I want to amplify the effect of my lightning spell because my enemies are spread apart. First, I'm gonna cast a rain spell, eventually making my enemies wet and uh, puddles on the ground, which are called surfaces. Then goes the lightning spell and all of them gets decimated. Same goes for uh, flammable uh, surfaces like oil and igniting them via fire spells. You get the idea, right? By the way, I'm sure on my next vid you'll know how uh, combat plays out in this game. For now, let's focus on character creation. What you're seeing right now are custom characters. There are also uh, pre-made characters which I'm gonna show later, but of course I'm gonna go for custom. In the uh, previous game, we have to make two characters because that's how the uh, storyline plays out. And I don't want to spoil it, but it was influenced by the book of Genesis in the Bible. The Garden of Eden, Adam and Eve, and that's why the uh, title of the game is Original Sin. The uh, metaphor for the temptation is something to do with a dark creature and source magic, which is what the sequel revolves on, I think. I haven't uh, played it yet. Going back to the uh, prequel, my two characters were a male wizard built as an elementalist and a female rogue built as an assassin. 
but uh, since you only get to create one character here, I'm gonna go for the Elementalist. And yes, he can play as the undead of any race and any class. The uh, benefits of this is that you'll get the uh, bonuses of that race and that of the undead. The downside, you have to cover yourself from head to toe because people will have very interesting reactions if they discover that you're a dead guy. Obviously, they're gonna freak out. And uh, one of the pre-made or uh, origin characters is undead, Fane. And I'm gonna include him in my party just to get those priceless reactions. Speaking of uh, origin characters, they have uh, backstories and separate quests. If you don't want to play as one of them, you can get them as companions. And let's hear them out. Hmm. I was just thinking about someone I used to know. My cousin, the queen, in fact, a tyrant. I tried to stop her, but things don't always go according to plan. She cast me out to a forgotten island and made short work of my allies, too. Lucky for me, I was able to commandeer a ship and began a new life for myself out on the high seas. Aye, but I hear that the queen is at it again. And there's something darker behind our madcap schemes this time. If I don't stop her, I don't know who will. after eons in some ghastly crypt. To your people are rather prone to death. Mine are not. Yet when I emerged from my completely unjustified imprisonment, I found them gone. Our culture forgotten. Any trace of the world I knew all but obliterated. I must even hide my true face beneath an ever-shifting mask for fear you savages will attack me. That is how I wander this strange world. Trying to uncover the truth about a history you primitive people never even knew existed. I was a crusader for the Divine Order. I pledged my life to Lucian the Divine. The war changed everything. He sent me to save the elves I grew up amongst. I arrived too late. Lucian ordered the use of Death Fog against the Black Ring, annihilating everyone I once knew in the process. Now I'm a mercenary killer, one of the infamous Lone Wolves. And my next target is none other than Lucian's own son. All my life I've been a performer, a musician, 
beloved and celebrated by all. But I have a secret. I'm also a playground for sprites and spirits and worse. The voice that rings inside me now is darker than any that came before. <sighs> Almost caused a bunch of my fans to rip each other to pieces. <laughs> but you can trust me. I've got this under control. <sighs> Step one, find out who or what is trying to take control of my mind. Step two, make it sorry it ever tried. Of course, for my unique red skin and unparalleled skills as a general of the House of War, I, the Red Prince, was raised within the vast palaces of the fabled Forbidden City. I was destined to become the next Emperor. But my ambitions suffered a bit of a setback when I fell from grace for cavorting with demons. Now, I'm exiled and hunted by assassins. But I assure you, I remain undaunted and as determined as ever to claim my rightful throne. to be a slave kept under the thumb of the master the bastard that made me hunt down my own kin how did he do that you ask with the living scar you see on my cheek this horror that takes no more than a song sung by master dearest to control my very thoughts but now the tables have turned I broke my shackles and when I finally find him, I will make the master sing a very different kind of song. Okay, so let's start creating that elementalist based on a human wizard. The uh, class or build presets are just uh, guides, I think. They only orient you to which schools of magic or abilities a class is based on, but uh, you can practically change everything here. And I'm not sure, but it seems that the uh, presets only affect your character's portrait icon. And uh, speaking of appearances, here I already knew what I'm gonna pick because I did a pre-run before this recording to save time. And believe me, with all the skin tones, face types, hairstyles and color, and facial hair, it's not unlikely for someone to spend hours just on this. Anyway, I'm sure you know what uh, I look like via my live streams and I'm not bald. It's a buzz cut, but let's just go for bald because that's the uh, closest thing. As per the uh, goatee which I have, it comes along with a mustache here which I'm not growing, but uh, let's just go for that as well. Nice try. Oh, almost got me that time. Prepare yourself. Yes, I came prepared, you know. I did some research beforehand. And uh, for early game, wind is gonna be OP. But uh, fire and earth is okay, so I'll just go with that to uh, make things more difficult for me, though I am in the uh, tactician mode already. As per the uh, point in persuasion, in the uh, previous game, this was important because if you want to bend the outcomes of quests to your will, you need to convince a lot of NPCs. Anyway, this is just the start and I will learn those other elements later but uh, my build is gonna focus on polymorph as well. 
a morphing elementalist. For the in-game name, it's going to be Onik Dovahkiin. By the way, Onik in uh, Skyrim's dragon language means wise, and he's a wizard, so that's it. And of course, you already know that Dovahkiin is the dragonborn in the same context. of source magic and like flies to honey the monsters swarmed the rebel panicked the carnage began and the magisters pointed their fingers at me just as I'd planned I was shackled and collared and sent to Fort Joy. I'd come here to kill Godwoken. But instead, I became part of their story. So, it, it wasn't a dream after all. And that's all there is for now. By the way, you can download this game via Steam for uh, $44.99 US dollars. The uh, link is in the description. Anyway, thanks for watching. Also, uh, check out other videos from Sabbath Clan Philippines and subscribe. See you on my next vid. Peace out, y'all. Yeah.